Every time you breathe in air takes a specific journey through your respiratory system to reach the alveoli. The tiny air sacs responsible for gas exchange there are 600 to 800 million alveoli in the two lungs of a human being, providing a massive surface area of about 50 to 75 square meters, which is roughly the size of a tennis court. Our lungs are amazing organs filled with tiny air sacs called alveoli. When we breathe in, oxygen fills these sacs, and when we breathe out, carbon dioxide leaves. Now, in pneumonia, these alveoli become inflamed and filled with fluid. This makes it harder for oxygen to reach our bloodstream, leading to a variety of symptoms. Pneumonia is a lung infection that can range from mild to quite serious, so understanding what it is and how it happens is crucial. There are different kinds of pathogen that can cause pneumonia, the most common ones are bacteria and viruses. These microorganisms can enter the body through inhalation of airborne droplets containing the infectious agents, aspiration of contaminated fluids or particles into the lungs, or through the bloodstream from other parts of the body where the infection has already established. The respiratory system employs a multi-layered defense system to shield us from pathogens that can cause pneumonia. These defenses can be broadly categorized into two phases, physical barriers and immune responses physical barriers. Mucus and cilia, the upper airway is lined with a sticky layer of mucus produced by goblet cells. This mucus traps inhaled particles, including pathogens. Tiny hair-like structures called cilia line the airways and beat rhythmically, propelling the mucus upwards towards the pharynx, where it's swallowed and eliminated. This continuous movement of mucus, known as the mucociliary escalator, effectively removes trapped pathogens before they can establish themselves in the lower respiratory tract. Coughing and sneezing, when large particles or irritants irritate the airways, the body triggers a forceful cough or sneeze. This reflex action expels air and mucus at high speeds, dislodging and ejecting any trapped pathogens. Immune Responses Alveolar macrophages, these white blood cells, reside in the alveoli, the tiny air sacs of the lungs. They act as the respiratory system's first line of cellular defense, engulfing and destroying inhaled pathogens. Inflammatory response, if pathogens evade the initial defenses and establish an infection, the immune system orchestrates an inflammatory response. This involves the recruitment of additional immune cells, like neutrophils, to the infection site. These cells release chemicals that fight the pathogens directly and also attract more immune cells. The inflammatory response can sometimes lead to the accumulation of fluid and white blood cells in the alveoli, which is a hallmark feature of pneumonia. When this fluid builds up it makes gas exchange inside the alveoli much more difficult, as the level of carbon dioxide in the bloodstream rises the body breathes more quickly to clear it out and get more oxygen in. This rapid breathing is one of the most common symptoms of pneumonia. Determining the cause of pneumonia can be difficult, but once it is established doctors can prescribe antibiotics which may include either antibacterial or antiviral treatments.